tell us how exactly your administration is able to find money in a season of paucity of funds to execute some of these uh, gigantic projects? How exactly are you able to do it? Okay, so um, the president must take a lot of credit for many of the things I report today. And I say this not in a patronizing way. So at the start of the administration, some of our colleagues in cabinet said, okay, look, go and do PPP. You don't want in Lagos. And I explained to them that look, PPPs take time to conclude. And they may happen, but you must also locate that within the, 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 the setup of the economy and what the global migratory investment capital is indicating. But one day I decided to do a presentation to council to show how long it takes to conclude a PPP using the Lekki Expressway case as a model. That project started during Nashua use time. The concession agreement was signed in 2005. I was chief of staff then. We did not reach financial close until 2010. I'd become governor and the president said, oh, we can't wait this long. And the first thing he did was to take he set up a fund called the Presidential Infrastructure Development Fund. And he said, the dividend earnings of Nigeria under the NLNG must be put in that fund and invested in infrastructure. And he listed three projects he wanted in that fund. Second Niger Bridge, Abuja Kanu, yeah. Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Because he had told me one week after he swore me in at a meeting he invited me to, he said, these three projects are my priority. Lagos Ibadro, Abuja Kanu, Second Niger Bridge. And so that was the beginning of funding for those three projects. And that's why you are seeing the progress I can report today. Later on, he went on a foreign trip, and one of his messages to our international partners was, look, there's a lot of Nigeria's money illegally taken out of the country. Can you reform some of them, especially during the military era? So some of those money started coming in. And he said, put it in the PIDF. That's the acronym for the Presidential Investment uh, Infrastructure Development Fund. So monies that were taken out, Buhari has brought them back in to invest in the development of this economy. And that's one of the reasons I say he deserves a lot of credit for what is happening. 